Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Commander Hideaway. I'm your host, Moo, and I'm here with my co-host, Zach. Hey, what's up, everyone? And we've got a pretty cool game for you today. Um, myself, Zach, and two of our friends, Prophet and Sebastian, or I'll refer to them as Tinsley uh, a lot of times in this video. We went all went to our collections or our binders and built these decks. It's uh, all stuff that we owned. We didn't buy anything for these decks or anything like that. We simply just went to our boxes or binders and put these decks together. So, Zach, if you want to talk about what you and Prophet are playing. I'm playing Thrasios and Kodama of the East Tree. Obviously, it's going to be some broken stuff because we're in Simic here, but I uh, just went to my box and binder, found some stuff that I thought synergized pretty well, thought it'd be pretty fun to play, and slammed it all together. Uh, Prophet did a pretty cool um, deck. He's playing Veil of the Nightclad with uh, Devoid uh, Eldrazi, so all of, his, all of his creatures are colorless, and... Uh, his, his commander Vela gives them intimidate and because they're colorless they're basically unblockable so you know he had kind of a higher CMC curve there with uh, Eldrazi and whatnot but it's it's definitely a cool deck to see uh what about what about you Mu? what were you and uh Tinsley playing yeah so I was playing my Vile Smasher and Sengir the Dark Baron deck um it's pretty much a mono black deck um because I had my Yawgmoth deck so I took the bones of it and put this together. Vile Smasher is just kind of a early turns, get some damage in. It doesn't really do anything for this deck. There's only three cards that have red um, in them. It's just mainly a mono black deck, but it's just sacrifice stuff, make some gear big, and commander damage some people out. Uh, Tinsley's playing his uh, Kytheon Hero of Akros and Gideon Battle Forge deck. It's just a mono white deck, does mono white things, and I've been stomped by this deck several times already. Yeah, same. Um, <laughs> so it's actually a pretty cool deck that he just built out of a bunch of mono white cards he has. And, you know, mono white, white may not be as bad as everybody thinks. It's true. Um, so, yeah, if you're ready, Zach, we'll go ahead and get into the gameplay. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, so Zach obviously won the die roll, and he's going to start us off here um, playing his lane for turn, not doing a whole lot. Nope. Um, Just chilling. I, I dropped a pretty cool card uh, this turn. Play the old Ozolith, so that way when Sengir dies, I can always move the counters to the Ozolith and then move them back to Sengir when I play them again. Tinsley okay. drops his commander turn one. You know, got to play them Do low C CMC commanders turn one and not turn five, Zach. Doing it right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, once Wani Canyons for wait for it, wait for it. Sylvan Library, mm, yeah, not there. He uh, definitely got a lot of hate from a couple of players for the Sylvan Library, um, and you'll see that when you see his life total uh, going down very quickly. <laughs> yeah, so I drop an Undying, trying to get multiple counters on Sin Gear. Once I get him out, also gives me a blocker early turns that I can. It will always come back. So. Um, and right here, Tinsley smacks you for two. Yep, I deserved it. Sylvan Library. It's cool some of the lands that Prophet ended up having to play um, because of the yeah. colorless um, kind of tribal he went for uh, with this deck. So it looks like I took uh, an extra card with Sylvan Library this turn. So I'm playing a, an island, and let's see what happens next. Mm, gotta Revisit. get that ramp in. Ramp, yep. Oh, Dang. and the Land of War Elves. Oh, you're, the... you're living your best life. Oh, yeah, man. I was. I was. And, the, and then Prophet throws old counter on his uh, land over there. I forget what it exactly it does. I, I sneak out a Rogue's Passage. Um, hopefully, getting to use that in later times. And, and Vile Smasher. Yeah. And then I swing one at Zach, really trying to show my dominance, you know? Yeah, asserting dominance. Got there. Poor Tinsley, no three visits. Right. But he does oh. get the Commander Sphere out. Got a Command Sphere, that's pretty good. Don't hate that. Swinging in. Mm. He, he gives Prophet a little love tap there. Yeah. <clears throat> Just let him know. That's right. Born Everybody's Stone. ramping. Except for me. Poor me, dude. I mean, you're playing colors that ramps kind of hard in. Yeah, and I don't have any of the cool red cards like uh, Mana Geyser and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, I, I really made it difficult on myself playing a 6 CMC commander. 
So I go ahead and drop Thrasios here and Basalt Monolith. My, uh, just to note, my red flag uh, definitely started waving when I saw the Basalt Monolith in this uh, game. Oh, I, I, I figured so. I figured so. Yeah, I definitely uh, was concerned once that came out. As well you should be. I do. Hey, turn four, ramp, crip gas, we'll crip take gas. it. Yeah, that's that's mana doubling and extort. Yeah, I appreciated everybody too uh, reminding me of my Vile Smasher triggers because this was the first time I ever played with them. <laughs> and I always forget, forget them, dude. It's random, you know. It's random who it hits. That is true. Yeah, for some reason my dice uh, love Tinsley, though. It's we true. played a game uh, the first time I tried out this deck in a test run, and every time it was just popping Tinsley. He, he drops a combo piece there, Helioid Sun Crown, which isn't used in a combo form here. It's just a, a white god that he's playing, but that's normally seen in combo decks. We got Drawn Our Hope. That was definitely an all-star in uh, Draft back in the day. So I haven't played much play. Draft. I need, to, I need to try to play some more. It'll probably improve me as a deck builder and stuff. Yeah, Draft's fun. It's it's a differently, definitely a different skill set. But yeah, overall, I'd say it, it'll improve your magic. Once we get to being around people again, I'm going to... I'm going to do that. So I play Hunting Wilds here. I, I don't kick it. I'm just going to look for some lands. Pass the turn back to Moo. So I smack with Vile Smasher this turn. It's the only right. thing I do. All day. I need to add that to my bucket list. Kill somebody with Vile Smasher triggers. Just got to play like a huge like, I don't know, something like Blasphemous Act or something. I get Sengir out. Ooh, smack you for the six. Yep. It was well deserved. Yeah, I, I deserve it. <laughs> like, I knew I was going out of this game fast. More ramp, dude? Yep. Say, who says Mono White can't ramp out here? Look at this right. man. And Ghostly Prison? Ugh. Yeah, I always hate that card. Especially when I'm playing creature centric decks, especially in black where I don't ramp a lot. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't afford to pay that. It can get hard. Soul and New Phyrexia, great card. Yeah, I think we actually see another one of those this game, too. Yeah, it plays his crew land, brings it back. Yep, yeah, and. Prophet swings at me, so I throw a uh, Butcher Goal in front of it to go ahead and get a counter on him and also on Sengir. Value very, count. Very nice. Two counters for one block. Hey, we take it. Yep. So here, uh, Zach's doing Thrasios things, yeah, which... Tri triggering Thrasios. Yeah. We'll, we'll just make a note for everyone who's watching this that um, it's not always perfect the way he does it so yeah I, I i screwed up a couple of times like instead of putting the card back or into my hand if it's not a land i i just put it back on top because well i'm not smart i'm not smart you know it happens it had no effect on the game and or the outcome of the game um right. so just make a note of that everybody that you know don't mind the thrasio scrying shenanigans that zach is pulling but it's actually hurting you when you put it back on top you're not yeah, getting really, in hand Exactly, it really was. Oh, you're throwing a lot of mana at this right now. Yep. Mmm. Great mm, hinge. The great hinge. Great Gaining card. Two life. Yeah, I love that card. It's one of my favorites. Sky Shield Ranger, definitely a combo piece. Yep. I also like that card as well. It's a cool card. Even not in a combo piece, right? You yeah. get to throw yeah. lands out, dude. Yep. I like it. Singer coming in. Mm, that Zach. Yep. Deserved. Well deserved. Hoping to commander damage that man out of here. Like I Unfortunately, said, well deserved. Yeah. Fortunately, not enough was dying this game. And uh, right here, I do uh, typical moose stuff. Obviously, all my mana is tapping for double because of Crypt Gas, or at least my swamps are. Um also forgot my uh, Vile Smasher trigger. Um, 
but doing two things that Moo always does is one, play stuff that generates tokens so I can sack them, and two, going in way too hard when there's possibly a board wipe coming. <laughs> <laughs> Overextending is a thing. I, I yeah. do it too. I do it too. I, I am definitely uh, the Sir Overextender of our group. So, uh, right here, I sack Butcher Gold of Phyrexian Altar to generate uh, another mana throughout the Blood Artist. Uh, and I move its counter to the Ozolith, saving that for later. It's like when you when you get crumbs in your beard. Yep. It happens. The struggle's real. Let's see. Right, what's, what's Sinsley doing? Has more mana than I do. It looks like is what he's doing. Yep. Up, oh, Elsbeth. Yeah, he, he joked about that card. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's the one from it. the, the Planeswalker <laughs> deck. Yeah. Poor Tansley. There's only so many good white cards he, he could own. <laughs> it's true. He did uh, He did pretty well, though. Like, his deck was pretty decent. Yeah, it actually works really well. He's a, he's a very good deck builder. He is. Like, I, I'll admit, I'm, I'm not a great deck builder. I do my best. I'm not bad when it comes to building um, aristocrats or sacrifice decks, right. uh, because uh, I've had a lot of a lot of stuff like that. So um, and we'll, we'll note Kytheon just flipped into Gideon, the Sunforged yeah. or Battleforged. Yeah, and then he plussed it to untap um, his one creature and giving it a struggle to his next turn. That was Tomic, I believe. Correct. I think so. Yeah. And he gets to play his hideaway lane. Ooh. Yep. Throws out the court of grace and becomes a monarch. Value monarch. town. Yep. You gotta come up with uh, with some pretty interesting ways to draw cards in white, you know? Yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot. Monarch could do it. Prophet finally found his swamp. I just want to note that. <laughs> yep. That's a, a pretty little swamp. Mm-hmm. And this is Ugin. where Moo overextended and pays the price. <laughs> <laughs> After I drew the proper token. Look at my little mouse over there. Yep. And they gone. Can you just, see this? <laughs> just goodbye. Oh. Yep. It, it really hurt uh, myself and uh, Tinsley. Not so much you, though. You it, didn't get sort hurt of that hurt. bad. It hurt me a little bit. I was definitely setting up for a combo right there. But you got to keep your great hinge, which was nice. Yeah, that was and nice. And your basalt monolith. I got to keep my sack outlet and um, my ozolith. Ozolith, yeah. So let's see here. Uh, I think uh, Prophet came in and gave you a, a little hit there, pal. I believe so. He even swung the Eldrazi Sions, dude. That man has no fear. Nope. Get in there, go home. Here's the old Ryan Green special of asking how many cards everybody has in hand. I'm always worried about counter magic. Brings a bright hearth, infinite mana. Yeah, and this is where uh, the size of the play group started. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Definitely uh, hate to see that, but it is what it is. Yep. It was in your binder. It was. You know, that's that's all you can say. It was in your binder. These are all things I had. No idea what you're doing there, honestly. Th this is me, like, looking for cards. And doing Thrasios wrong. Th Th yeah, doing Thrasios way wrong. Get the little Ashaya, though. That's nice. Yep, Ashaya's nice. Yeah, there's just no fast way to rifle th through your deck with uh, with Thrasios. Yeah, you ended up just deciding to gain two life and give up hopes yep. of finding what you were looking for. Correct. I just want to note here, um, I asked Prophet how much damage he could do, and he said 16. <clears throat> so I cast an Exsanguinate for two <laughs> to get to get Zach to 16. And you succeeded. Yep. I, um... Definitely was trying to kill you after you went infinite on us. Yeah. 
And uh, Tinsley's trying to rebuild here. Um, in response to him casting his commander, I lightning bolt Thrasios to get that man out of here. Uh, I will note that I tried to do some shenanigans where I was like, well, after uh, Tinsley played this guy, I was like, well, wait, in response to the lightning bolt, I tried to rifle through my deck and just straight did not get there. Yeah, so don't don't mind what is on Zach's board at this point, the yeah. uh, land or anything like that, or the massive hand he has. It was a bit of a misplay, but again, it has zero impact on the game. So Right. Um, I still it, die. It yeah, it made no difference to Zach's fate. He was going to die this turn regardless. For sure. And, and that's why I tried to do the infinite combo, because I was like, well, I'm probably dead anyway if I don't do this. And there's no way for sure that to know if this is going to hit or not. And it yeah. did. So Prophet plays Vela, gives his creatures unblockable, swings at you, and then plus Ugin to do the last three. Get him out of here! Gone. So I was out of infinite. here. That's right. You get smacked. Now everybody's just trying to rebuild. I throw a Vile yep. Smasher out. Gotta get that boss Smasher damage. That's right. That was one of the. <laughs> that was hopefully one of the ways I would kill somebody. I was hoping at the end when I everybody was low health, I'd cast something and kill somebody with it. You know. Yep. And uh, that Dark Steel mutation went on to uh, Bela, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it did. So he's trying to get rid of the unblockable that Prophet's creatures currently have. And just flood the board with creatures. Yeah. Bounty Agent's also a cool card. Yeah. So Tinsley swings at Prophet. He blocks one, uh, Tinsley's commander with the old bug. That's indestructible. Tinsley is the retains monarch, or yep. gets it back. Yeah, he gets it back from Prophet. Prophet had got it from him. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is what happened. So, Prophet again, minus two uh, to Ugin gets rid of Tinsley's board. Doesn't really affect me. Vosmasters threw him see three CMC Pog, so yep. got to keep him out. Um, but yeah. Tinsley being in mono white and getting board wiped twice is rough. Yeah, and, it's, uh, it's like that. Yeah, also, he also told us that that Forsaken Monument was like the only win con of this deck. <laughs> we we yeah. seem to not pay attention when people tell us what the win cons of their decks are. Um, not wrong. Yeah, well, let's we be real though. Did you have removal for it? I did not. No, I'm the king of not running enough removal in my decks. Um, Ooh, Drops Messenger. Yeah, that's a great card. It is. I like it a lot. Look at that. I swing Vile Smasher, dude. Tinsley sacks Command Sphere, draw a card. Also taps to activate War Room to draw another. And then your boy gets the Monarch. And then forgets to draw his card. <laughs> Did you? Nice. Yeah, but then I caught it. And I was like, wait, I forgot to draw a card for Monarch. <laughs> and then just dropping another uh, sack outlet. I had plenty of sack outlets in this deck. It's yeah, just it the two Ugins got me. If the two Ugins wouldn't have... Um, happen uh the two ugin acti activations it would have been definitely a different game um ugin's definitely a powerful card yeah tinsley very well would have possibly won the game without that ugin going off i agree he, he was getting out of control get in black blade yeah profits on tapping yeah, and so, uh, also note, in case you didn't catch it, when he uh, minus two Ugin to get rid of the Darkstone mutation on his commander. So his creatures now have Intimidate again. Yep. And then the old Bolus of Citadel, dude. That's yeah. a pet card of mine. Any, any deck I got that has black in it, that card's going in it. Oh yeah, totally. I, I just love that card. Yeah, also casually... Helm of the Host, right. Soul of New Phyrexia. Hmm, it's rough. Yep. No big deal. No big yeah, deal. Ten Tinsley knew at this point. He he's uh, he's already like, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just get this stuff out of the way. That zero one bug is the copy of Soul of New Phyrexia, by the way. He just didn't make another token for it. Yep. Um, and uh, at this point, I had removal in my hand. Um, I could have got rid of uh, the copy or. The original Soul of New Phyrexia, um, but there was nothing I could do. I had two cards in hand. One of them was removal. 
since they had land on top, we decided it was time to end the game and move to the next one. So we yep. scoop up and say, good game, Profit. And that it was. It was a good game. Yeah, so Profit's deck, uh, on the podcast when I was on Commander Social, yeah, Commander Social with you guys, I talked about how Profit affected my deck build and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and that deck right there shows, you know, it's just... Um, <laughs> A little janky a drop tribal almost uh, Vela Eldrazi tribal thing that he did that turned out actually pretty good because um, your Thrasios uh, Kadama decks no joke. Yeah, I I still enjoy it. Like I'm I'm working on upgrading it a little bit, but I I still enjoy play. I, I kept mine together. Yeah, I um, took mine apart right after that game hmm. um unfortunately I, I enjoyed the deck and like playing it but i just decided i think i took some of the cards and maybe swapped a couple out in varina or something with them gotcha. um but yeah and then tensley's mono white decks always contending and we actually played a game what was it sunday monday and One uh he's, he stomped us with it so um it's it's a good deck so it is. But, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the game uh zach Tell them where they can find you on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at Z4CK38. Uh, where can they find you, Moo? Uh, you can find me at MTG Moo, and then you can find us combined at CMDR Hideaway. Uh, you can also check out our stream on Wednesdays and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Central Time at twitch.tv uh, slash CMDR Hideaway. Uh, we have guests on, and we try to give everybody a nice environment where you can kind of get away from everything going on. Um, and just play some casual games of Commander. It's a, it's a real good time, and if anybody would yep. like to uh, join us on stream, hit us up on Twitter. Uh, we'd love to have you. Yeah, for sure.